Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exchange of equations? Yeah, let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. And here from equation 1, we have x plus y equals to 9. And from here, let's take x to this side. That is, we have y now equals to 9 minus x. Then we can substitute this back in equation 2, that is from equation 2, what we have which is xy equals to 9. Then equation 2 then become x times 9 minus x equals to 9. Then we can open this bracket with x and we have 9x minus x squared equals to 9. Then from here, let's take everything to one side. That is, this side to that side. Then minus x squared become plus. So we have x squared. Then we have minus 9x. Then plus 9 here. Now equals to 0 from here. Now what we have here is a quadratic equation which we can solve using the formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and where a is equal to 1 b is minus 9 and c is 9 and when we substitute there here we have x give us minus minus 9 plus or minus square root of minus 9 square minus 4 times 1 times 9 then all over 2 times 1 that is from here we have x to be equal to 9 plus or minus square root of 81 that's minus 9 square then minus 4 times 9 here, we have 36, then over 2. And then here we have x equals to 9 plus or minus root 45 over 2. And which becomes x equals to 9 plus or minus, here we can separate root 45 as root 9 times 5 then over 2 and from here same thing as x equals to 9 plus or minus root 9 is 3 so we have 3 root 5 now then over 2 and which we can separate as x equals to 9 over 2 plus or minus 3 root 5 over 2 that is from here we have two possible values of x we have x1 equals to 9 over 2 plus 3 root 5 over 2 then we have x2 equals to 9 over 2 minus 3 root 5 over 2 so here we have the values of x and then we can get the corresponding value of y using the relation y equals to 9 minus x. Then on this side, it means that y1 will then be equals to 9 minus x1, which is 9 over 2 plus 3 root 5 over 2. Then here yeah, minus open the bracket we have y1 now equals to 9 minus 9 over 2 the minus times plus the minus then 3 root 5 over 2 and from here you can bring this together fm is 2 here yeah, 1 into 2 2 times 9 that's 18 then 2 here that's 1 times 9 that's still 9 then we have minus 3 root 5 over 2 and here this implies that y1 is now equal to this is still 9 over 2 then my 
sine of 3 root 5 over 2. Then on this side, we can write x1 over y1. That gives us x1, we have 9 over 2 plus 3 root 5 over 2. Then comma y1, we have 9 over 2 minus 3 root 5 over 2. So this is the first set of solution from there. And also from x2 here, we can get also y2 by using this relation and y now equals to 9 as y2 equals to 9 minus x2 that into bracket 9 over 2 minus 3 root 5 over 2 close bracket so that is y2 now equals to 9 minus 9 over 2 then this become plus 3 root 5 over 2 that is here yeah, this same thing as 9 over 2 so we have y2 now equals to 9 over 2 plus 3 root 5 over 2 then the second set of solution which is x2 comma y2 now is now equals to into bracket x2 we have 9 over 2 minus 3 root 5 over 2 then comma y2 we have 9 over 2 plus 3 root 5 over 2 so here we have these two set of solutions to this given problem based on what we have we can check and let's use the first set of solution to check from equation 1 and 2 because here what we have in x1 here the same thing as y2 here and what we have in y1 here the same thing as x2 here so once you check with the first set then it's okay so on this equation given here using the first set of solutions that is here we have the first set of solution given we have 9 over 2 plus 3 root 5 over 2 then comma 9 over 2 minus 3 root 5 over 2 which is the form of x comma y now for the first equation there that means x plus y which is equals to 9 we then become 2, sorry please, that's 9 over 2. So we have 9 over 2 plus 3 root 5 over 2, that's x, then plus y, which is 9 over 2 minus 3 root 5 over 2. It is equal to 9. And from here, here, this is plus. 3 root 5 over 2, this minus 3 root 5 over 2, this cancel out. Then we have 9 over 2 plus 9 over 2 is equals to 9. So bringing this together here, SM is 2, and this is still 9 plus 9, and is equals to 9. And 9 plus 9 here is 18, this is over 2, is equals to 9. 18 over 2 here is 9. Which is equal to 9. So left hand side equals to right hand side. So you satisfy the first equation there. Then also we can check for the second equation as well. From x, y equals to 9. That means we multiply this and this. So that this we have 9 over 2 plus 3 root 5 over 2. Then multiply by y now which is 9 over 2 minus 3 root 5 over 2 then we need v equals to 9 from here now when you look at this this follows on this when we have a plus b times a minus b 
and which we can write as a square minus b square. Now this one here, this simply becomes 9 over 2 all square minus 3 root 5 then over 2 all square. With this we equal to 9. Then from what we have here, this square affects 9 and 2, so this becomes 81 over 4, then minus. Also, this square affects 3, that's 9. Also, affects root 5, that's 5. 9 times 5, that's 45. And also, affects 2 here, yeah, that's 4. Is it equals to 9. And from here, bringing it together, SM is 4, so we have 81 minus 45. Is it equals to 9. And it's 1 minus 45 there is 36. Then over 4 is equal to 9. And yet, 30 over 4 is 9. It is equal to 9. So left hand side equals to right hand side. And hence, it also satisfies the second equation. And we say, therefore, the solutions to this problem we have x equals to this and y equals to this and also vice. But I thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel and share this video with you with thumbs up. See you next class. Bye for now.